So let's review this cost function. Uh, we've got cost, our total cost, as a function of Q, as a function of our output. Uh, the cost function, total cost is equal to 45 plus 10 times Q plus 4 times Q squared. Uh, so it's a quadratic function. The, the fixed component of this, co of this cost function is the 45. So that's your fixed cost. Doesn't matter what quantity is, you're always going to have that 45, uh, 45 bucks that you got to pay in fixed cost. Again, independent of the the quantity that you're producing, thus the the fixed cost. The part of the function that varies with output here, and so this is going to be that's that's the variable cost. So your total cost equal to your fixed cost plus your variable cost. Uh, if we we're to go in and assume that we've got, we want to produce a certain amount of output. Let's say Q is equal to 5. We want to make 5 units. Uh, we could ask a couple questions. We could ask for the fixed cost, the variable cost, and the total cost. And so the fixed cost uh, is going to be, again, just the fixed component, be 45. Doesn't matter if you if you were to change Q, change your output, increase it, decrease it. Doesn't matter. That fixed component is always going to be 45. The the variable component here is going to be equal to 10 times 5 your output plus 4 times 5 squared. Uh, that would be your your variable component. And then to get the, the total cost, you can simply add the, uh, the fixed cost plus your variable cost. So I'll let you do the math on that. Uh, but you would, if you were, if the, if the question asked, if you had to figure out the total cost, it's going to be both of these combined, the entire cost function. Fixed, you're just looking at this first part, and then the variable cost, you're looking at those last two.